not just for um, low-income families, it's not just for single moms, it's not just for, I mean, we're there for the whole community. When you have really young children, you, you're not in a school system, you're not in a higher education system yet, so um, putting it all together as a parent is a new experience for you. And I don't think early childhood systems have always um, been in play. Health integration in terms of what, how we define it is really looking at um, putting all those systems together for families. Colorado has a system of 31 councils throughout the state that really work in their communities to help connect children and families to services that they need. And so this was really an opportunity to help these councils over time kind of go from a, a narrow focus of early learning to a broader focus of getting health folks at the table, mental health, oral health, and really expanding how they define school readiness and getting kiddos ready for school. Health integration is really important. This is about taking care of the mind and the body and making sure that they're connected. And um, part of that is having um, strong parenting skills to raise a child who's healthy and both, both emotionally and physically. Part of it is having really good health care and access to health care. And part of it is really allowing kids to be kids and to be able to play and, and have fun. That's how they learn at this age. It makes so much sense for everyone to be involved but it's a lot of work to get everybody at the table, figure out who should do what, and what are the next steps. We started out being very focused on the early learning piece, and we've evolved over the last 10 years to now include kind of the bigger picture of children and families. I will say that all of us though, even though we've got our own area of expertise, we all are committed to the whole child. You know, it's hard work. Early childhood tends to be left out of conversations. So you had not only Denver, but other councils who were really brave in talking to physicians, getting them engaged, talking to the K-12 systems, kind of fighting for that seat at the table. And now um, they're included. So to come into a classroom and to see that the work that we're doing can really help teachers to make changes in their classroom and, and make a difference for kids, make things go more smoothly, um, make it more fun. Um, that's just so rewarding. We know that the healthcare and early childhood professionals that we come in contact with have direct impact on the families in our community. It's not one person can do it. It, it, it really is the community and, if, and we're a coalition and we really want to build everyone up.